This week, a national panel of experts recommended adults younger than 65 get regularly screened for anxiety. Doctors say it's about time because many people could be battling the disorder without even knowing it. Arman Rahman reports. Arman. Brady, the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force is made up of medical experts from across the country. They previously recommended mental health screenings for other age groups, but anxiety is now the most common mental health disorder. Your doctor checks your heart, lungs, and eyes every visit, but now experts recommend... Your brain is part of your body, <laughs> so it turns out that that is actually also physical health. Adults up to 65 should also be screened for anxiety at the doctor's office. Differences in breathing, gastrointestinal distress, sweatiness, all of those things can be symptoms of anxiety, but people might not recognize them as that. Experts found people have gone with some of those symptoms as long as 23 years without knowing they were related to anxiety. Well, anxiety is our most common mental health disorder. Dr. Shanda uh, Wells, a clinical depression. psychologist for UW School of Medicine and Public Health, says the 10-question screener is available in most doctor's offices and helps the patient decide what to do next. You can't really diagnose someone from a screener. You have to have an interview with them and talk to them, but it at least can give you a hint as to if someone is experiencing some anxiety symptoms. She says communities experiencing social inequality should especially get screened. Typically, the black community has a higher level level of anxiety in the Native American population and anyone who identifies as part of the LGBTQ plus community. And while rates of anxiety and depression were four times higher during the pandemic than they were in 2019, the new recommendation is actually based on findings gathered before. I think that's kind of the shocking part is that we already knew this was happening, right? Like this has been happening for many, many years. Anyone who's in the mental health field is not surprised by this recommendation. So it may not be surprising, but it gives Dr. Wells hope. I mean, I think that this is another step in that direction, but it does seem like there's been a little more willingness and openness to talk about anxiety. Now, the recommendation from the task force is open for public comment until mid-October, but it, historically, they've affirmed recommendations like these.